Step 1. To begin the transfer test, close the normal source circuit breaker. The switch controller will illuminate the utility available lamp when correct voltage is sensed. If the transfer switch mechanism is set on SARS 1, the source 1 position lamp will also light. Verify the phase-to-phase -phase voltages at the utility line terminals. Step 2. Close the alternate source breaker and start the engine generator. The alternate source available lamp will illuminate when correct voltage and frequency levels are sensed. After both sources have been verified, shut down the engine generator and put the generator's start control in the automatic position. Step 3. Simulate a utility outage by opening the normal source circuit breaker. The delay to engine start timer begins its timing cycle. After the timer has completed its timing cycle, the engine start contacts close to start the generator. Step 4. When generator voltage and frequency reach the preset restore points the alternate source available lamp illuminates. Simultaneously, the delay to generator timer begins its timing cycle. When the time delay is completed, the switch will transfer to generator. The source 1 position indicator goes off and the source 2 position lamp illuminates. Systems shall transfer in no less than 10 seconds, where failure of the equipment to perform could result in loss of human life or serious injuries. Step 5. Reclose the normal source breaker to retransfer to the normal source. The delay to utility timer begins its timing cycle. When the timer has completed its timing cycle, the switch will transfer. The source 2 position indicator goes off, and the source 1 position lamp illuminates. Step 6. The delay engine stop timer will begin its timing cycle. The generator runs unloaded for the duration of this timing cycle. When the timer completes its timing cycle, the generator will stop. The source 2 available lamp goes off. A minimum time delay of 5 minutes should be provided for unloaded running of the emergency power system prior to shutdown. This allows the engine to cool down. The minimum 5-minute delay is not required on small air-cooled prime movers 15 kilowatts or less.